to week two of Youngsters Yoga class. This week's theme is self-awareness. Self-awareness is being able to recognize what zone you are in and what caused you to feel that way. It is knowing what things you like and what things you don't like. It is knowing what things you're good at and what things you might need some more help to add. If you have questions about self-awareness, you can ask your mom or your dad. If your mom or your dad have questions, you can tell them, email this Sam. Let's get started. First, get your yoga mat. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel or a blanket, or you can just find a cozy spot on the carpet. Don't forget your soft, furry, cozy, whatever kind of blanket you like to use for quiet time. You'll want to have that ready for later. First is our zones of regulation check-in. Here's our zones of regulation check-in board. I put my clip on blue because I'm feeling a little bit tired today. Hopefully yoga will help me get back into the green zone. What zone are you in? You can tell your mom or your dad. You can tell your brother or your sister. You can tell your pet or you could just write it down. What zone are you in? Thanks for telling me. We are all done zones of regulation checking and it is time for breathing. Here is our breathe like a bear book. Remember, you can sit crisscross applesauce or you can lay down for breathing. Our breathing exercise this week is called rainstorm. Okay, let's get ready. Uh-oh, I think it might rain. Rub your hands together to make the sound of the wind. It's getting faster and louder and faster and louder. Now slowly tap your hands on your legs to make the sound of the rain. It's getting faster and harder. It's really starting to rain out there. It's pouring. We're going to get soaked. Uh oh, here comes some lightning. It's getting louder and louder. Oh no, here comes some thunder. Here comes the lightning. Here comes the thunder. Here comes the lightning. Here comes the thunder. Oh, it's starting to rain again. It's really raining hard. Oh, it's getting lighter and lighter. I think it's slowing down. Oh, make the sound of the wind. It's slowing down too. I think it has stopped raining. Everything is still and quiet, just like my body. Let's take three deep breaths in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth. Two more, in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one, in through your nose and out through your mouth. My body feels calm, like after the storm. How does your body feel? It feels calm too? Great job! We are all done breathing. It is time for meditation. Remember, for meditation, you can sit crisscross applesauce or you can lay down. Our meditation this week is called the Good Fairy. Remember, you can look at the picture or you can close your eyes. Imagine you are walking in a beautiful evergreen forest. The trees of the forest are big, beautiful, and very old. Each one of them has a kind face, and they are happy to see you visiting them. The trees live together in perfect harmony. You reach a very special tree. It is very big and tall. This is the tree of the good fairy. The good fairy lives in the most beautiful tree house that has so many passages and rooms and steps. As you get near her treehouse, the good fairy greets you warmly and invites you to walk through her place. As you walk around, you see so many awesome tricks and ideas for a treehouse, what a treehouse kitchen looks like, the living room, the game room, where she stores her water, and where she keeps her stuff. You think that you can help her make it better with good ideas. When you reach the top of the treehouse, you look out and see the incredible view all around you. The good fairy tells you that she can help you with any good wish you have. 
All you need to do is imagine how great it would feel if your wish had already been granted. You think of a good thing you would like, and then you imagine how good it would feel. Suddenly, the sky lights up for a second, like magic. You thank the good fairy, and you begin walking back, feeling good. You know that you can always come again to visit the good fairy and ask her for help with another wish. Okay, let's take three deep breaths in, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Two more, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Last one, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Meditation makes my body feel calm. We are all done meditation. And now it's time for yoga poses. Our first pose is mountain pose. We start standing up for mountain pose. Both feet are on the ground. Send your roots deep down into the earth. I rise up tall. Put your palms together, press them really tight. I am tall and wide. I am a majestic mountain. Okay, stay in mountain pose and get ready for tree pose. Send your roots deep down into the earth. And when you are ready, pick up your left foot. I am focused and stable. If you need to, keep your toe on the ground. I reach high into the sky. Oh no, here comes the wind. It's blowing my branches around. Oh no, it's getting faster and faster and faster. It might blow me over. Oh, oh no, the wind blew me over. Did it blow you over too? Oh, let's try again on the other foot this time. Ready, send your roots deep down into the earth. And when you're ready, pick up your right foot. I am focused and stable. Remember, you can keep your toe on the ground if you need to. I reach high into the sky. Uh-oh, here comes the wind again. Let's see if we can stay up against the wind this time. It's getting pretty fast. It's getting pretty fast. Oh no, oh no. Oh wait, I think it's slowing down. It's slowing down. It's gone. Did you stand up against the wind? Good job, friends. Our next pose is dog pose. For dog pose, we start on our hands and our knees. I am a dog on or all fours. I am ready to play. Woof, woof, woof. I am ready to stretch. Tuck your toes underneath. Send your tail up and back. Remember, you can pedal it out if you need to. Picking up one foot and then the other, or you can leave both feet on the ground. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. That was hard work. Our next pose is cat pose. For cat pose, we start on all fours again. I am a kitty cat. I am alert and ready to play. Meow, meow. Take a deep breath in. Look up at the ceiling and arch your back. Blow it out. Look at your belly button and round your back. Take a deep breath in. Look up at the ceiling and arch your back. Blow it out. Look at your belly button and around your back. Good, let's do that three more times. Take a deep breath in, look up at the ceiling and arch your back. Blow it out, look at your belly button and around your back. Two more, take a deep breath in, look up at the ceiling and arch your back. Blow it out, look down at your belly button and around your back. Last one, take a deep breath in, Look up at the ceiling and arch your back. Blow it out. Look down at your belly button and round your back. Whew. That was fun. Cat 
toes makes my back feel warm. Okay, our next pose is boat pose. You can do this pose by yourself like me, or you can do it with a partner. With a partner. If you have a partner, you can sit with your toes touching, then you can make your feet touching, then you can try to sit up. If you don't have a partner like me, we're gonna start sitting up, hugging our knees. When you're ready, lean back and put your hands on the ground. I can float, pick up your feet. I am a boat, pick up your hands. If you need to, you can put your feet back down on the ground or you can keep them in the air. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woo! Boat pose makes my tummy work hard. Our next pose is plank pose. For plank pose, we start on our hands and our knees, just like for dog pose. I align myself, body, breath, and mind. I am strong in my core. Move your hands forward and look up. I make my body straight. Tuck your toes underneath and lift your bottom up. I make my body straight. I am a solid plank. If you need to, you can leave your knees on the ground or you can hold your plank push-up position. Let's hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Whew, good job, friends. Our next pose is shark pose. For shark pose, we start on our tummy with our hands underneath our face. I am long and sleek. I am a strong swimmer. Clasp your hands behind your back. I am determined. Roll your shoulders back. Lift up your hands, your feet, and your chest. I am a fierce shark. Take a deep breath in and hold it for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. Whew, that was hard work for my back, but it felt good. Yoga poses make me feel strong. Our last pose is animal friend pose. For animal friend, we can sit crisscross applesauce, or we can lean down. I'm going to sit crisscross. Settle down and relax. Close your eyes and go inside. Breathe in love and breathe out worry. Imagine you are outside. The sun is shining. Birds are singing. You hear a rustling in the bushes and then a giggle. It's an animal watching you and it wants to be your friend. What kind of animal is it? Mine's a lion. What's yours? What? That's so cool. Let your animal come close to you. He is wise and here to support you. If you have a question, a secret, or a problem, you can share it with him. He will help you. Your animal friend loves you very much. Let's take three deep breaths in through your nose and blow it out through your mouth. Two more in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one in through your nose and out through your mouth. Yoga poses make my body feel calm and strong. We are all done yoga poses and now it's time for quiet time. Get your cozy quiet time blanket. You can lay down underneath it. You can lay on top of it or you can put it in your lap like me. Remember, you can look at the picture or you can close your eyes. Imagine that you are walking on a path leading you through a beautiful green garden. The path turns and you find yourself in front of some steps. You climb up the steps 
and you arrive at a big open spot. This is where you will build your meditation place. Your meditation place could be a tree house or it could be a tent. It could be on a log cabin. It could be on a boat. We're on a cloud. The choice is yours. Imagine you are building the outer walls of your meditation place. Maybe you decide to have windows or none at all. Maybe you have a door that only you can go through. Imagine the inside of your place. Maybe you have lots of pillows. Maybe you have a hammock. Maybe you have a water fountain in the middle of your place. Maybe there's a big swimming pool. Maybe it's made of shiny crystals. Or maybe you have magic walls that keep changing colors. Or a waterfall of chocolate milk. Anything is possible. This place is all yours. And it is there to make you feel happy, calm, and at peace. Look at your wonderful place and feel proud of what you've created. Walk around your place and feel good. It is now time to return from your meditation place. You know that you can always come to your place. You can make it even better and just relax and feel good there. Let's take three deep breaths in through your nose. Blow it out through your mouth. Two more in through your nose and out through your mouth. Last one in through your nose and out through your mouth. Good job. Meditation makes me feel calm. It helps me get back into the green zone. We are all done quiet time. It is time for zones of regulation checkout. I was on the blue zone in the beginning of class because I was kind of tired, but now I'm in the green zone. I am happy, calm, and ready to learn. What zone are you in? You can tell your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. You can tell your pet, or you can just write it down. Remember, you can look at your zones of regulation visual if you need help remembering what they are. What zone are you in? Thanks for coming to yoga, friends. See you next time.